What's good YouTube, it's your main man Codorm and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be making a 3D terrain in Blender and then actually moving it over to Godot 4. So I started by adding a plane and I subdivided it a bunch. Afterwards I went to geometry nodes and did some nerdy stuff. Added a set position, then a combiner and a noise texture and all that extra stuff. I was able to make a pretty good terrain very quickly by following a tutorial from CG Matter. And so I saved a lot of time there. I thought this would take super duper long, but it was really quick. So once I added the noise texture and the geometry nodes i just edited the properties till i got something i like then i smoothened out the terrain and exported so then afterwards i started to get to work in godot so i imported the terrain material texture and the skybox which was all the assets i was going to need to make the scene so i imported the terrain and got some appropriate scaling for it then i started working on my terrain shader i downloaded a grassy texture it's supposed to be for ground but it worked well with this terrain here the most important thing i did was scale up the normal map and then work on the uv scale that definitely gave it the look I wanted. So I set the UV scale to 10 on all the positions. So once I was done with the shader, I started working on the lighting for the scene. It was pretty simple. I added a directional light. I didn't really have to mess with any of the properties, just the angles and rotations. So the way the light would face the scene. Now when I first started, it was kind of shiny and reflective, but that wasn't the look I was going for. So I went back to the shader and I tweaked some of the settings to make it less shiny. The solution for me was to turn down the specular and I turned it off. I put it all the way on zero. Basically what this does is it interacts with other light sources in the scene because if you notice before i added the directional light there wasn't that much reflection going on it was just the base lighting but then once i added a directional light and angled it at a certain way to where there would be shadows you see the reflections which again wasn't the look i was going for so because of the way the light node was angled it made my terrain look really glossy so by turning down the specular which is the reflections that turned it all off that gave me the rough look i was going for so then after that i was working on the environment in the skybox afterwards i had to scale the terrain a little bit more to get it where I want it to be. And this is the finished project. It came out pretty good, I say. I definitely got the intended look. One thing I noticed though when I was zooming in and scrolling around here was that the peaks were kind of sharp. Some of the higher areas looked really edgy. Next time I'll have to smoothen out the edges in Blender. But I did pick shade smooth, so I don't know why it's so sharp. Other than that, the skybox and the shader for the terrain look great. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'm out of here.